Let's start with G2 Guardian thermal performance. G2 Guardian has the best thermal function ever in any smartphone. And we don't think any of our competitors could catch up with our pace this year. It's the first smartphone equipped with a thermal monocular. Now, what is a thermal monocular? To some of you that don't know what a thermal monocular is, it's a pro equipment that is frequently used by hunters, ranchers, law enforcement, military, and other professionals that might require a long distance detection function. Obviously, G2 Guardian and a thermal monocular don't look similar, but they do have similar specs. We did put a lot of work on structure design and reducing its size to finally squeeze it into a phone. I'm 100% sure that G2 Guardian delivers a whole new level of user experience as a smartphone. Let me tell you, um, we tested the tons of thermal monoculars and when we were developing G2 Guardian. And I can tell you it's a real game changer. The battery life, the charging, the convenience for you to carry around. And the most important is we change the way you interact with it. I mean, how can you compare a flagship smartphone that provides tons of utility, including that long range thermal vision, to an electronic device that just provides the thermal vision using five buttons in total and basically have no operating system at all. Long press this, double tap that, to be honest, is such a headache, but um, we will get into that later. All right, so let's break it down to some advanced specs. The main achievement that we have this time is that the detection range of human-sized objects is now around 500 meters. We use a bigger and stronger thermal sensor for G2 Guardian. Compared to the last generation of Glory, which is G1 Pro and G1S, it can capture a five times stronger thermal signal from your target. It also has a 10 mm lens, providing a three times narrower FOB, both horizontally and vertically, and will allow you to focus on your object nine times better. Please note, do not point the thermal monocular directly towards the sun, because this could damage the sensor. So, if you are familiar with thermal monoculars, you will notice that there are two different kinds of distance range that they're often mentioned. Detection range and recognition range. So let's dig into that and see some field test footage about detection range. Now you are able to detect 180 centimeters creature heat signal from 500 meters away. In this case, you can see a dot on the G2 Guardian display. For some big size objects like cars, trucks or boats, the detection range will be around a thousand meters or more. And for some small animals like rabbits or, or rats, we expect it to be about the 100 meters mark. So on the other hand, we have recognition range. Recognition range means that you will be clearly able to recognize from 200 meters away that this 180 centimeters creature is a human, a zebra or a kangaroo that just kidnapped your dog. This is still a pretty long distance, considering that common hunter shotguns effective range is within 100 meters. Image quality is also vital. Guardian image resolution is 256 times 192 and supports 25 Hz video recording. It's still the best in any thermal smartphone. By the way, we are also looking for expert professionals that are willing to try G2 Guardian and give us feedback because we are planning to update our application software from time to time to make it better and better. So talking about our thermal IPP, it does have some unique features that even professional devices don't have. We put a lot of effort to develop the best thermal software that we could. Let me help you to understand how it works. Autofocus and manual focus are actually a very useful feature to get a clear look at your target. Thermal cameras usually have three types of focus. Fixed focus, autofocus and manual focus. So entry-level thermal equipment and all thermal phones before a Guardian are using fixed focus. Fixed focus, it's really simple and easy to use. The problem is that the display NETD, which means thermal sensitivity, is actually lower than the one that the thermal sensor could originally provide. 
and that's a waste of potential. So to release all the power of G2 Guardian thermal sensor, we are going with two options, autofocus and manual focus. Just tap the screen to use autofocus and in most cases, you should already have the object perfectly focused. You can also use the volume key to adjust the focus point manually in case you have multiple objects on screen or if there is a specific part of your target that you want to focus on. Our autofocus algorithm is based on thermal sign only, so we recommend you to put your target in the center. G2 Guardian has two different main modes, night vision mode and measurement mode. You can switch between them at the lower right corner of the display. Obviously, when you measure temperature, you are using the measurement mode. Measure range is between 0 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. Not that wide compared to G2 Pro, which is from minus 20 degrees to 550. We have many options available to get the best results. For the best accuracy, you will want to put your target in a range between 2 to 8 meters and later adjust the parameters under settings 10 params. Here you also have the emissivity table. This option will help you to improve the temperature measurements accuracy by selecting the object surface material. We have some common materials for you to select and you can also customize it if your target is made of some special material that is not included by us. For those ones it's better if you google them up. We also have temperature measuring distance. Under this option, you can manually select the distance between G2 Guardian and the object. Another one is reflect temperature. And this one is for some special cases. Like, for example, uh, you want to measure the temperature of a person that is standing something that is really, really hot. Then put that data into reflect temperature. But here you don't need to be too accurate about that reflect temperature data to get good results. The last option is atmosphere temperature, which is the temperature of the surroundings. And again, like in the previous one, you don't need to be too specific about the data. Um, actually, the option that makes the biggest difference is the emissivity table that we mentioned previously. All right, so let's go back to the main interface. We have multiple ways to make your target pop out. Of course, we have different preset palettes for different applications, but further than that, this time you will be able to customize your own one to get the best results. Not all colors fit every situation. Actually, some palettes could make your job even harder. So it's great to be able to customize it at will. Another option that we have is that you can also adjust the brightness and contrast to better fit the lighting conditions on your surroundings and get a better view of your target. At the right part of G2 Guardian screen, we have two options. The A or M buttons are also for changing the color display. Using A mode or auto mode, Guardian will automatically display the highest temperature as white and the lowest temperature will be displayed as black. In M mode or manual mode, you will be able to be the one who decides what is a high temperature and what is a low temperature. Swap the color to define which one is the high temperature and which one is the low one. You can also analyze the object temperature by drawing a dot, a line or a square. So let's talk about the other main mode, night vision. Temperature measurement mode, the one that we previously discussed, is not usually that needed for thermal monocular users. For example, hunters will find the night vision mode much more useful since they don't need to know the exact temperature to pull the trigger. In our spec sheet, we say that the thermal sensitivity of our sensor is less than 60 NK, which is correct. But what we didn't tell you is that when you are using night vision mode, it will be around 30 NK making it the next level product. But why did we also include this night vision mode? Using night vision mode, it's easier to highlight heat signatures, especially at night, since it doesn't showcase that much other lower temperatures. This will make your target pop out on display much faster and clearer. We also have three kind of preset options here called highlight, enhance and nature. 
By using these ones, you will be able to clearly spot your target every time. We also added some other useful extra features. We have shutter compensation. So when you are using the thermal function, the whole thermal monocular module gets too hot, so it loses precision. It's set up to auto-refresh itself every two minutes to keep the component safe and accurate, but you can also use this function to refresh it manually. Another function that we have is time-lapse. You can set a timer and when that time has passed, Guardian will record a video or take a picture. And the last one that I'm going to be talking about is that we also have the picture over picture function. It will allow you to use the thermal monocular and the rear camera at the same time. Both images will be displayed on the screen at the same time and you can change from one to the other in a very quick way.